Welcome to Stay Tuned's Garage. My name is Alex and today I'm going to be putting a brand new Mishimoto uh, oil catch can in my 1996 Mustang GT and I'm going to show you how to do this on your own car. Okay so here's everything that um, this specific Mishimoto oil catch can kit comes with. comes with a catch can, nice aluminum sturdy uh, piece. All right, it comes with four hose clamps here, one drain plug, magnetic drain plug. We have two, um, what do you call these? These are the things that go up here that you connect the hose to. Um, I guess little hose nipples. <laughs> a bracket to mount it, and then three feet to run all the new oil lines. All right, so here I have the engine to my 1996 Mustang GT. And so where you would normally run a catch can from, is from your PCV line, which in my specific vehicle is right, the PCV valve is right under the intake right there, right on top of the valve cover. So you can see down there, there is my PCV valve. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this tube. And you see that runs over here to the intake gonna remove all that and here is what we have so this is this goes from the PCV valve to the intake as you can see mine is all cracked and all rubbery messed up that's bad so it's a good thing I'm kind of refreshing these these things um, and let me show you how I am going to do this Okay, so here I have the catch can itself. I went ahead and put uh, the two little nipples on the intake and out outlet. There is the drain plug, goes at the bottom there, and I put the two little screws for the bracket. Um, this little tube here is actually to show you how much oil is in your catch can. So once the oil will be displayed in here, and once it gets to a certain level, you go ahead and drain it just so you, you know it doesn't fill up. Um, if it fills up, then drain it, um, but usually you want to do it before it fills up. All right, so one issue I have is that, as you can see, the little fitting on the PCV valve it has is very small compared to the fittings on my catch can. Um, so there are a couple ways you can go about this. So one thing you can do is um, order new fittings that are the same size as the fittings on your car. Um, I actually ordered this yesterday and overnighted it. So I didn't really have time to do fittings and all that stuff. Um, so what I am gonna do is I'm, so you can either get the fittings and then get the correct line size for it because um, they are the line they give you is the same size as the fittings or you can get an adapter that would adapt this line to the size line that your car has and then you can just run this to the Mishimoto and then adapt that to this line and then this line to your car what I'm gonna do is I actually found a line that has the same inner diameter as my car as the fitting on my car and then the outer diameter is the same it's not the same but it's a little bit bigger than the inside diameter of this hose so I can very simply just put the line inside of this line and it it's tight it is it's not loose in there by any means it has more than enough um, it's on there tight enough that I guarantee there are no vacuum leaks I mean for Pete like for example this was what I had before. So com this versus this, I'd, I'd prefer this any day. Um, but I am gonna put a hose clamp on top of this just to be a little more safe, I guess. Um, so that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run this line to the car's fittings and then this line to my catch can's fittings and it should all work out. All right, so now it is time to mount our oil catch can on and instead of using the little bracket that mine comes with I have no good spot to mount it with that bracket fortunately this engine bay is kind of cluttered and um, I'd like to put it here 
but the intake gets in the way um, so I'm not able to do it there at least not in a spot where the hood would close properly so what I'm actually gonna do is mount it up here on the radiator support um, I went ahead and pulled that little little plastic shield off and I'm actually not using the uh, bracket that it comes with I'm using this repurposed bracket that used to hold on I think it's like a sensor down by the exhaust or something um, and I'm actually gonna just put it right there and then I can route my hoses that way so I'm just gonna go ahead and self tap that onto um, the radiator support right here and I was gonna use these let me let that down okay I was gonna use these two holes as you can see these are threaded holes um, that don't have anything threaded to them and I was gonna use those but I didn't have any metal to make one that came out long enough and it'd just be a lot of work when that bracket was already pretty much pre-made all I did was drill some holes in it um, but yeah in order to make make a bracket that came all the way out here I'd have to make it go here and then bend a little and then it'd be a whole process so instead I just found that little bracket that pretty much works perfectly and that's what I'm gonna use alright so now it's time to alright so now everything's all set up catch can is mounted now we just have to measure up our lines and cut them to length so I've already done one here and this one will go from the EVAP, from the PCV valve to the catch can here. And the way I did it is, um, I didn't measure exactly, I just kind of eyeballed it, to be honest with you. So, like I'm gonna mock that one up right there. That's about where it's gonna go. Here's where it ends. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of overlap here. And then over here, I'm going to kind of, it'd be easier to do with two hands, but I'm going to kind of try to eyeball it right around there. So I'm going to cut it there where I put my fingers, and then uh, we'll go ahead and mock it up. Now that both of our hoses are cut to length, nothing left to go ahead and install them, and then you're pretty much done. And just like that, we are all done with the install. Um, so I went ahead and put um, these hose clamps on every connection and then where I joined the two hoses together. Um, to be 100% honest, personally me, I don't believe these are necessarily needed. Um, they're only sort of a precaution, kind of a, kind of a preventative type of thing. Um, I'm not saying don't use them, I'm just saying, I mean, stock, let's see, where can, like here, it has no hose clamp, um, neither on any of the other vacuum hoses, over there, no hose clamp, um, so, it's not necessarily 100% required, um, but, I mean, to be safe, I'll, I'll do anything to just prevent stuff from happening, so, I went ahead and did it. Uh, if anything, I'd say just don't tighten them too much, especially on like the PCV valve um, because that's plastic and if you crack it, it's going to kind of suck. And then the little aluminum um, fitting on here is also kind of uh, sensitive, so just, just tighten it enough to prevent vacuum leaks. That's all you want to do. You don't want to, you're not trying to torque your crank pulley bolt or something like that and just like that you could have a catch can in your car it's very simple install shouldn't take too long this one took me a little while I actually had to do this in two days so you can see I'm wearing a different shirt um, just because I had to find a bracket to mount mine um, but that shouldn't be an issue in most cars usually there's a little bit of space where you can play around with um, especially like four-cylinder cars or smaller engines um, and real quick I wanted to explain why I'm putting a catch can in my stock car uh, 
So my car, it has, the engine has about 180, 90,000 miles on it. I actually don't know how many exactly it has because the original tachometer is not on the car. Um, I took that one out because it was broken and put a new one from the junkyard in that says 170 some thousand. Um, but either way, engine is old. It has blow by. I know for a fact it does because when I replaced the intake manifold, um, there was a bunch of oil in there. And when I put the new one in there, um, I put it in and I was having this issue with vacuum leaks so I pulled it apart. I only ran the car with a brand new uh, manifold, intake manifold for like a, like a day or two. And when I pulled it back apart there was already oil residue in there. So I know for sure it has some sort of blow by issue. Um, and so I'm just kind of, you know, now that I have the catch can I'll be able to catch that oil. Won't go into the engine or back in to the combustion chambers um, it should be good so for me it was just simply trying to keep that stuff out trying to keep my engine running as long as possible uh, because I'm kind of broke and I can't ref afford to to blow up my engine at this moment so I'm just kind of playing it safe but yeah thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed um, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you would like. All up to you. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can see more. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.